This learning object is a production of Abu Dhabi Men's College, Center of Excellence for ICT and Learning Technology. Hello, uh, today I'm going to talk about the urinary dipstick test. Um, this is a very uh, useful and rapid test that's used routinely in medical labs um, around the world. Basically the test consists of a series of strips, uh, special paper that's been impregnated with various chemicals that will react with other chemicals in uh, urine to tell us uh, about certain diseases such as diabetes, uh, if the person's got an infection, uh, and if the pH of the urine is abnormal, and other things. I'm going to demonstrate uh, the dipstick test on a couple of uh, urine samples that I have here. Um, we already know what to expect in the urine samples, so um, the test results should be a given, providing the strips are working okay. Of course, um, the strips being chemically based, they have a storage life, and it's important that we don't use them past the expiration date. So basically, we have, we have a urine sample here. We insert the strip into the urine sample, making sure that it's thoroughly immersed and that all the squares are wet so that they will the chemical will react. Okay, and looks like we're already getting a chemical reaction. So first I'll blot off the excess urine on the strip onto the paper. And at most, at most it should take about a minute. And if we look on the side of the the vial or the container that these strips come in gives us a reference colour range. So normally um, if we take a non-reacted strip, okay, looks like this, okay, and then the colour will change and we hold it this way against the different colours. So when we get a colour match we can say if there's been a positive result and also it gives us rough ranges or concentrations for the different chemicals um, found in urine so we can make a diagnosis. Okay, I think that's probably had enough time now. Okay, we're getting a, strike, a strong colour reaction there on the end. So if we hold it up to the vial, like this, and then we look along it, so making sure I've allied the squares properly. I'll start at the bottom, and we've got quite a strong blue colour down there. So this one is the test for blood. Okay, so normally if it's negative, I should get a yellow colour. And instead I'm getting quite a strong dark um, blue. And if I align it until the next colour, this is one here. Okay, So that means there is uh, a strong amount of blood in this sample. There's lots of blood, a significant amount of blood. So that's quite a strong reaction. Looking at the other squares, um, I think everything else is normal. So that's a nice green, that's pale. That's a normal pH for urine. Glucose is normal. Ketones are normal, and we have other tests, uh, urobilinogen and bilirubin, which are used for um, liver function, and we have leukocytes are normal. So in this case, this person has some bleeding into the urine, but they don't seem to have infection or diabetes, and uh, you might do some more tests on them uh, to see where the bleeding is coming from, but uh, it just gives an initial indication. Sometimes we we bleed a little bit in our urine if we've been exercising very hard, maybe run on a marathon or something like that, and uh, that's not unusual. But if there's a very large amount of blood, then we're, we've got cause for concern and we'll do further tests. But it's very useful as a non-invasive test. We can, do, we can easily get a urine sample and run a test, and we'll know in a few minutes if there's a problem, and then we can do other tests. And uh, that's basically how the urine dipstick analysis test works.